I've got a prediction for 2032, and it may be your key to becoming wealthy. Artificial intelligence and the financial technology. This valuable data. Why am I sharing this with you? Well, the truth is no one knows what's going to happen over the next hours, days, or even months. However, I believe I can make an educated long-term prediction based on my years of experience. I mean, I had a hunch about the mass adoption of smartphones in early 2012, which meant that investing in Apple paid off big time. Apple finally hits the three trillion dollar in market cap value. Now I'm interested in predicting what's next. This is quite a risky video for me to make, as you may not agree with me, or I could just turn out to be completely wrong, which would be embarrassing. However, I'm confident enough with my 10 year vision that I'll look back at this video and at least hit a few home runs. I've never actually spoken about this before, but if you want to get on the fast lane to millionaire status, then you need to have a clear vision for the future. This applies to everyone, from investors to everyday people that just want to work a nine to five job. The world is like a river, forever moving forward with a strong current. If you're a strong swimmer, then sure, you might be able to swim in the opposite direction for a while, but you will eventually burn out. The secret is to put all your effort into swimming fast downstream so the current carries you along. I mean, have you ever thought, how is that person so successful when he's nowhere near as smart and skilled as me? I deserve more. Now that's the case for a lot of people. However, they're just not positioning themselves in the right places. The truth is anyone can become rich by just working in an exploding industry. But if you're able to be one of the leaders in the space, then you'll become extremely rich. Everyone has their own unfair advantages. So the magic happens when you identify how your unique skill set fits into one of these hyper growth industries. Imagine these as your flippers that help you swim faster than anyone else. So I'm going to make five very strong predictions about the future. Maybe not all of them will be correct, but I'm willing to put my neck on the line and say a few of them will be. You may not agree with what I'm about to say, especially the last one. However, my five predictions may help you think long term and make your choices based on a 10 year horizon in terms of job, side hustle, business and even investments. Prediction one all our finances will be digital. This essentially means that we'll be living in a cashless economy. I honestly don't think that's too much of a stretch as when you watch any sci-fi film, people aren't carrying around paper money, it's always credits. This takes me back to 1978 when I was just a boy. There was a sci-fi series called Blake Seven and it was all based around stealing credits. I even had to ask, Oi, Dad, what are these credits? And he said, it's money of the future. This dystopian future scares a lot of people. Many from my generation don't see the value in digital currencies as they don't believe they're real. However, if you think about it, why are we carrying around pieces of paper and exchanging them for items in such an interconnected digital age? Financial technology companies are also some of the best funded startups in Silicon Valley, with employees earning multiple six-figure salaries. Many of these companies are also putting their money where their mouth is. They believe so strongly that financial technology is the future that they're willing to lose millions in order to acquire customers and grow their user base. Many people are skeptical of crypto because of the wide array of coins with no real purpose and crazy price movements. However, I see a lot of similarities between the pandemic crypto boom and the dot-com bubble of the late 90s. Lots of stocks that just owned catchy domain names went to the moon, although most had no business plan to back them up. This is extremely similar to coins like Floki Inu, pumping like crazy, all because it's named after one of Elon's dogs. When the dust settled in the early 2000s, some of these internet companies with solid business models kept building and reached new all-time highs, but this time based on true value such as Amazon.com. The blockchain technology behind cryptocurrency is a game changer as it increases trust, security and transparency as everything is traceable all of which makes it very attractive to governments as tax evaders will be easy to spot. However, it also means that we'll be able to see exactly how our tax is being allocated and spot any potential embezzlement. The point I'm making is not all cryptos will be the future. However, there will be some that will win in the long term. If all countries start creating their own coins, there will be a need for a universal global currency and Bitcoin might be able to fill this role. The future of blockchain technology is unclear, but I feel we'll be using it without even knowing. It will be adopted by businesses, 
banks, payment apps, and everything in between, paying with your wrist wherever you go. Prediction two, artificial intelligence will dominate all sectors. When I say artificial intelligence, it's very easy to jump to conclusions and envision a future where we're all ruled by robots, a lot like Skynet in the Terminator films. However, in reality, AI is all around us and it's intertwined with our lives and will only get more powerful. Imagine a world where everything you do is informed by AI, the restaurants you visit, the medicine you take, and even the people you date. This could end up a catastrophe. However, if done correctly, it may usher in a new golden age of innovation with technology creating technology. AI is essentially intelligence demonstrated by machines, but it actually goes far deeper than that. I'm sure you've heard me say, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. But what does that really mean? Well, YouTube are a massive business and have 720,000 hours of footage uploaded to their site every single day. But with so much footage comes a great challenge, and that's showing the right videos to the right people. That's where AI comes in, as YouTube can't have hundreds of people sitting behind screens, pushing buttons and deciding who sees what video, as it's just not cost effective. If that was the case, I'd have bribed them ages ago. It feels like not even the people that work at YouTube know how these algorithms operate on a deep level, as they have essentially taken on a life of their own. This type of AI is more powerful than you may first think, as it has the ability to influence millions and maybe even change the result of future elections. You don't have to be an engineer to gain exposure to this fast-growing sector. You can benefit massively by investing in companies that have AI as a core component of their business plans. Take Tesla, for example. On the surface, it may look very overvalued as a car company. However, that's because there is a lot more going on. Every vehicle Tesla has sold has more than four cameras which Tesla is feeding into their self-driving AI. I mean, what other car company has access to this much real-world data to fine-tune their algorithms? They're likely years ahead of anyone else. That's not even where it stops. Elon Musk has stated that Tesla's humanoid Optimus robot will be worth more than the car business. I'm not saying to go out and invest in Tesla just because I believe in it long term. Of course, it's important to do your own research. That's why I love using the public app as they have a community of notable investors all eager to help you be a better investor. For a limited time, they're also giving away a free stock slice worth up to $1,000 when you sign up with the link below. Prediction three, over 80% of our energy will be from renewable sources. This one's just inevitable. It just depends on how quickly we're able to transition from fossil fuels to renewable sources. This transition towards clean energy is being supported by many governments over the world. By 2030, new petrol and diesel cars will be banned in the UK. UK as part of the government's 10-point green industrial revolution. The ban is undoubtedly set to shake up the motoring industry in a big way. Renewable energy will be a highly lucrative industry as they are set to account for almost 95% of the increase in global power capacity through 2026, with solar power providing more than half. The amount of renewable capacity added over the period of 2021 to 2026 is expected to be 50% higher than the previous five years. But how can we use this information to benefit? Well, renewable energy stocks could perform very well over the next decade. For example, Enphase, whereas fossil fuel stocks and car companies that don't adapt could fold. This may sound unbelievable as oil giants have dominated for many years. However, the top companies are always changing, and this essential move to renewables could be the spark that sets everything on fire. Prediction four, content will be more immersive. Our entertainment has been becoming increasingly more realistic over the last decade. Just think about it. First we had online blogs, next it was photos, now we have access to 5G networks with the ability to stream HD video to almost anywhere. The question is, where do we go from here? I believe in 10 years time, content won't be about passively watching, it'll be about experiencing. 
Imagine combining gaming with films where you can be your favorite character, experiencing being in the cockpit flying fighter jets, or alternatively, learning about the dinosaurs while having a picnic surrounded by them. As you're probably aware, I'm not the only Mark that's predicting this for the future. Mark Zuckerberg rebranded Facebook as Meta and is placing his chips on the metaverse, spending tens of billions a year to make this a reality. This is essentially a huge gamble he has little choice about making, as Facebook are being backed into a corner. This is because Apple has really affected Facebook's ability to harvest our data with the introduction of iOS 14, which is in turn having a huge effect on their advertising revenues. Meta knows the importance of controlling the hardware if they want to be able to harvest more data points and therefore they need their own devices. However, Apple dominates the phone market, Samsung rule the TV sector and Microsoft and Sony have the gaming market. So they could either compete for the scraps or find a completely fresh market and make a bet on the future. I believe immersive content is the future and according to Statista, the global metaverse market will soar to 678 billion by 2030. There are certainly a lot of privacy issues to work out, but the possibilities are endless. Prediction five, physical asset like data-driven companies will rule. He who rules the data rules the world. An increasing amount of companies are reducing the amount of assets they hold and relying more on their brand and the value of the data they harvest. A great example of this is the hotel industry. Many people believe it's being disrupted by Airbnb, who are making comparable amounts of money without owning a single hotel, and instead leveraging the real estate of the users. However, something that may surprise you is that most hotel chains nowadays don't actually own much real estate. The traditional hotel business model was to build or buy a hotel and run it until it was able to pay back the initial investment, but this often takes in excess of 10 years. This leads to a number of issues. However, the main one is cash flow. As many hotels are very seasonal, they need a constant stream of guests and money coming in to justify employee wages. This is why they've adapted their business plan to more of a franchise approach. Instead of building a new hotel, they simply approach an existing independent hotel and offer them the privilege of branding their hotel as a Hilton, for example, in return for a percentage of the profits. This means the owner never has to worry about advertising and the initial upfront investment to the hotel chain is very low. In 2032, digital assets will be seen as far more valuable than physical ones. The facts are all leading to this conclusion. Data determines what products you buy, what ads you see, and companies know everything about you. In 2021, 71% of video game sales were digital and not on disc. No wonder blockbusters went bust. If we're already making progress like this, imagine what 2032 will be like. I feel like the predictions I've made in this video lean towards a digital world. So if you want to become very wealthy, then allocating some of your investment budget to these areas might be a good idea. As far as fast money goes, just remember to swim with the current and you'll most likely end up in a sea of wealth. I guess I'll look back at this video in 10 years time and see how many of these predictions came true. So I'm gonna leave the next video right up there, but don't click on it just yet. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna grow your wealth, okay? I'll see you over there.